Yes, today is the 21st of May. So two thirds of the month is over. It's amazing how fast time flies. Okay, it's raining. I'm gonna melt. It is, it's raining, how dare it. You know, look, you can see the rain on dad's car. <laughs> it's gonna rain on the picture here. So I guess I probably should go back in. I should. How far are we? 39 seconds, 40 seconds. That's not bad. I'll just forget it. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, you know, I can just keep it running, though. Because what I need to do, Dad has already used my iPad to listen to the scriptures. It is so, so wonderful. He, he's loving that. I was, he was just telling me, thanking me. And I was telling him, yeah, I, I can, I know. And I can remember watching him. I mean, he'd be sitting in, sitting on the couch, okay, in front of his table. And his scripture's down on his table. So he's leaning way over to try to read his scriptures. And then he's stumbling over the words, like you've seen me do. I mean, those words are not easy. So then by the time you stumbled over the words, you don't know what the heck you read. You know what I'm trying to say? So I definitely understand how nice it is to have something read to you that you're interested in so you can get something out of it. In other words, so you can understand what you're actually listening to or hearing or reading. When you're trying to read it, you're too busy trying to understand. Not just understand, but you got to first of all learn the word. You know, it seems like they do that. Words are hard. So you need to know what the meaning is of the word. And then you can put it in the sentence and see, okay, now what did they mean? <laughs> because there's a few different meanings usually, you know. So the wind is blowing and it's raining. I didn't realize it was raining. Still, what I was going to do was I need to go back and read some stuff that I was supposed to read. They deserve their own place, but I want to talk on all of my videos anyway. So today is Tuesday, the 21st of May. It's crazy. So crazy. So the future's coming. The future is coming. What will it bring? Serious. What will the future bring? I do need to figure out stuff. I've got to go find all that paperwork and, uh, and do some reading. I just, and maybe I should talk to the pharmacist. So I remember him telling me something, and I'm not sure what he was telling me about. Um, but he was talking about that fact that, you know, when you first start taking medicine, then um, it affects you. But after a while, your body gets used to it, and it doesn't affect you like that. And so I'm just wanting to know. I, I, I know I should have figured this out before now, but I, I really would like to know what I should do. And I know that my uh, my medicine, okay? Oh, I'm just going by factors that I've had happen. So, no, nothing is tried and true with my stuff. However, I couldn't get the medicine in my body before. And I can remember even doing a, an extraction oil like this, but without the process that I do, um, where I emulsify it. When you emulsify it, it becomes water soluble. And I read that and I'm going, what does that mean, you know? Well, what that means is it can mix with your blood. It can mix with, it can go through your skin. I can remember an oil that we did and I put it on my breast and and it just rolled off people it didn't stay there and go in it rolled off my skin okay but this stuff will go inside and mix with your bloodstream 
which to me, that's what I want, right? I want to feed my body the medicine and I don't want it diluted because it's gone through the digestive system. Think about it. They got a regimen and they say it works, you know, but I can never get the oil through me because I don't have a gallbladder and the particles, when, when you're breaking them down into, I don't know what, what you call breaking them down, but they don't go through your um, liver very well, okay? So it must work. I imagine it works because of our acids, our digestive juices, our acids. Well, I don't have any. <laughs> And I do know that I took capsules that had my medicine in it, big chunks of my medicine, and um, I didn't digest them. They just sat there in my stomach until I threw them up, meaning it took me quite a while before I did. They just really literally stayed in my stomach because they couldn't make it through that hole. And I'm telling you because of stuff I read that it couldn't make it through that hole. But when I finally threw all that stuff up, there it was, right in front of my face, all these capsules full of my black stuff, okay? So I know for a fact that my acids in my system, and see, that's what my naturopath said. She said, you don't have much, you don't have much acid to help you digest your food. Without having teeth and without having a gallbladder, those two things are working against me. So she's saying, you know, you got to masticate your food or whatever the word would be. She wanted me to, from then on, to um, blend my food, pulverize it, you know, and then eat it. So like the meat and stuff. Well, I never did do that. But I did do smoothies. But then I did smoothies that were with fruit and not with the vegetables. So really should do fruit and vegetables together. Okay, just a little bit of fruit to make it taste good. Plus, fruit is the nectar of the gods. I mean, fruit of the gods to me. And this is Mary Lou talking, not, you know, I don't know who else would have said that, but probably somebody else did. <laughs> I just believe that. I believe that the, our food is a grown, it's grown on the trees and it's in the, it's in the meat. It's in being clean about everything. You know, the pork situation, I'm just not sure why they do that. There's a reason that they do that. But the way I understood it is you just want to make sure that pork is cooked. That it is cooked. You don't want to be eating it because otherwise you can get, I think you can get worms or something. I don't know. You just need to make sure about your food. So the best thing to do would be not even eat that. I sure do love pork. I love ham and I love bacon. And I mean, I want the bacon to be thin and crispy so it melts in my mouth. That is good bacon, you know? Anyway, I'm rocking a lot. Okay, stop. I have to tell myself to stop. <laughs> I, was, I was wanting to go for a walk. But what I really need to do is go in there and what I'm going to do is go to the beginning of the Book of Mormon, okay? I'm not sure that I want to read that, but I'll start on it, and we'll see where we go. Because then that'll tell you the beginning of everything. A supper, a supper. Some of these books in the Book of Mormon come from the brass plates. You'll find out about those brass plates here soon. And then... Um, the records from the beginning, from Adam and Eve down, okay? Not just of genealogy, but everything. And the covenants of the Lord are in there. The um, things that we believe, the gospel of Jesus Christ is in the Old Testament and whatever it was I was just talking about. The brass plates. You'll find some of the same stuff in the brass plates as you do in the Bible, okay? Because they did come from the same area. These records, the brass plates, were taken, commanded to be taken, 
was to be able to teach this new nation about the beliefs and to hand down to save the records because Jerusalem was going to be destroyed. They left 600 years before Christ, and I believe it was 600 years or something in, in uh, some type of, uh, what you call it? I can't think right now. My mind is kind of putting around here and there. So then I end up going to where my head is, you know, instead of where I'm at. <laughs> There's things going on. There's things going on that we don't know. Have you ever lived down in the ghetto? Have you ever felt that cold wind blow? Well, if you don't know what I mean, you should stand up and scream. Because there's things going on that you don't know. There I be. Should I go to sleep on you? I gotta quit rocking. See, I rocked myself right to sleep, probably. Too much thinking, and away I go. No, oh, I did want to go out and walk. But I guess it doesn't hurt to miss a day or so. I'll just have to walk the floors of the house. They are smooth and warm. And it is, everything is all on one level. It's like an S or a question mark or whatever. So you leave this room and then you go all the way down there to the kitchen and then you turn to the left and you go through the hallway in front of that uh, double fridge. So you go in to the hall past that, okay? And then you take a right and then you take uh you go straight down, and then you take another right, and you go straight down. And that's my room. And next to my room is another room called the hot tub room. Nothing fancy. Especially right now, it's all messed up. There's things all over it. I've got to go in there and clean that room out. Because there is a vent. There is a vent in there that lets a great amount of cool air up into that room if it wasn't covered up. You go in that room, it's hot. But I remember, I remember moving something because he had sliding, he had the closet doors in there, Austin did. And he had stuff stacked up against, or against the wall and on top of this vent, you know. Anyway, when that became uncovered, oh my, it was like, shoosh, you know. Swish. I don't know how to say it, but like this, this cold air just came up through the vent. It was so wonderful. So it's like, okay, we wouldn't be in there dying if I had that uncovered. So I've got to do that. <laughs> when they moved out, you know, it was just things that got put in there. It was just convenient to put things in there. I, I, I have things in there now because I have put my desk in there. I've moved my stuff, a lot of it in there, which will help my room not be so. But my room is still quite something because I've just got too much stuff. And I got paper everywhere where I've been trying to figure out what to put on my card. I think I've got the front cover done. So now I've got to just work on the back. And that would be five lines at 35 characters and spaces each. So I can say a bunch, because I've already said a bunch on the front. You see, on the front, you had three lines, no, two lines of, two lines of 35 and three lines of 50 characters and spaces. So that's cool. So I've got the front done. 
unless I decide to like let go of some words and put them on the back because you also want to be continuity like um, I think the front of my card sounds pretty good but the back what do I want to say because it could be there an indefinite period of time. If I like it, getting up. So five lines of 35 characters and spaces. So I've got some lines in the other room written. I just got to pull those together, but at least I have the front cover done. And the last line on the front cover tells them how to contact me. It tells you how to contact me. When I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and write that part up on an index card and then I could show you guys that. In other words, I'll take, and take a picture of it as, you know, as part of the video, I will capture my card, but not my real card because I have to order that. <laughs> but I, I, the biggest part is trying to get the right words and I need to get that done because uh, I don't wanna be out of cards. And I don't know where to find any other ones, so if I have any, I'm not sure where they are. That roll was really good. I want another one, but there is not anymore. It was wonderful. Simply marvelous. The song is still playing in my head. <laughs> was lost in the darkness and I found her I found you 